so hello hello um today i'm gonna make kind of a short video just on one thing i'm gonna do how to make um, a customizable name for your uh, whoever is playing they get to pick their name and uh, the reason i'm making just a short video today is because i haven't made a video in a long time and i just i don't have that much time today so i'm just making something quick and helpful hopefully it's helpful but yeah i recorded the whole video and then I realized I wasn't recording my voice so now I get to make the video again but hopefully it'll be okay because it'll actually be even a little shorter since the script is already written out and I'm just going to explain it to you so um, let me just get rid of some stuff because you won't understand so um, we're going to start here Define G, just character, and then what I did is instead of saying girl, I replaced it with this little thing, and I don't actually know what these little things are called, but they're sort of like the parenthesis, only square, and so you do the little box thing, and inside of it you say name, or actually you do whatever you want, just make sure that this inside the box is the same as this, this, and this, and then it should be easy. So then you do that, then you put this code down. It's dollar sign, space, name, space, or whatever word you're using, space, equals, space, rempy, dot, input, and then the parentheses, and inside here you put the question you want it to ask. It doesn't have to ask a question, but then if you don't put some writing, I don't know how your player is going to know what to write. So, and then down below on the next line you do dollar sign, space, the word you're doing, space equals, and then the word you're doing again, dot strip, and then you just do the two parentheses with no space in between. So then, that is going to make it so that your character, or your player, will enter in the name, because it'll say, what is your name, you'll type in their name, and then, everywhere where it said girl, I replaced it with name, because now, uh, right here G it's gonna say the person's name and she says hello I'm and then whatever their name is and wherever Bob says their name I put it here too so now let me show you how that worked out what is your name um, and then Maddie says hello I'm Maddie and then he says hello I'm Bob and then you say whatever, then he says, why, thank you, Maddie, and that's how it works, and easy as that. Also, um, just a quick little thing, you can use this for anything, too. It doesn't have to be names. I made a game that's a Mad Libs game um, by basically saying, type in a verb, and then the person puts a verb in, and that's where a verb goes, and so it's this long story, and at the very end, it's a little Mad Libs, and so maybe if anybody's curious, I will ex make a video explaining um, the script of that and showing you the game. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. So it just to quickly explain how you would do that is if you wanted to do like, uh, I don't know what you would do in the story, but uh, add or additive, obviously, and then rempy dot input, and then type and adjective. I think I spelled additive right. And then you do that, and then you add equal add strip, and then uh here when um, she's going to say you look um, this could go a lot of different ways um, and then instead of saying you look just to make this work a little better say you are adjective today and so whatever adjective you put in she will use it as her compliment so hopefully you type in a nice adjective and not something like I don't know, something mean. So 
cute. Hello, I'm Maddie. And hi, I'm Bob. And then here, she says, hey, you are cute today. But if you were to go back, let me see that, and then type an additive, uh, this isn't going to make sense. Hello, I'm Maddie. Hello, I'm Bob. Bob, you are blue today. <laughs> Just to show you how it works. So, there we go. Hopeless, uh, sorry. Hope this helped. Um, thanks for watching.